Let's do together day nine, the final day of the Surrender Novena by Don Dolindo. This is a novena which is especially powerful in these days of uncertainty. You know around you what's happening in the world. And this novena was dictated by Jesus to Don Dolindo. And um, Pater Pio, as I said, had a high esteem for Don Dolindo. And let's go for day nine. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray always in readiness to surrender, and you will receive from it great peace and great rewards, even when I confer on you the grace of, of immolation, of repentance, and of love. Then what does suffering matter? It seems impossible to you? Close your eyes and say with all your soul, Jesus, you take care of it. Do not be afraid. I will take care of things and you will be bless my name by humbling yourself. A thousand prayers cannot equal one single act of surrender. Remember this well. There is no novena more effective than this. And now he says ten times, O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. And then there's this final prayer. Mother, I am yours now and forever. Through you and with you I always want to belong completely to Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Let's pray it again. Mother, I am yours now and forever. Through you and with you I'm always want to, I always want to belong completely to Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And he's saying, you know, one act of self-surrender to Jesus is more precious than thousand prayers, you know. That's so important, you know. Very, 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 very important to know that, yeah. That's what it's all about. You have to surrender. It's the time of the Holy Spirit. We have to surrender to Christ, you know, to the Holy Spirit. Be guided by the Holy Spirit every second of the day. Again, this is my daily prayer. Mary, take my hand. Jesus, take my hand. Guide me every second of the day through the Holy Spirit in the divine will, in divine joy. As it said in Holy Mass, through you, with you, in you, through Jesus, in Jesus, with Jesus, you do everything in your life and you will see miracles. I promise you that, you know. And we will have peace even in the storms of life. Now we have wind here. You hear, maybe hear that there is wind, little storm of life. It's refreshing the wind also. It's blowing all the dirt away. And you stand firm when you are in, guided by Jesus. You are built, you build your life on the rock, not, not on, on, on sand, you know. That's what this is all about to build. You have a rock solid lifestyle. When the storm comes, you know you are in Christ. Nothing can happen to you. Will You will make this experience when you surrender your, your, your life to Jesus. You will, you will know it. You will know it. You will step by step make the experience that the living God of Israel and the nations is in love with you. He has good things in store for you. Don't focus on the waves, on the wind, but focus on Christ, you know. He, and you can literally, literally can walk on water. I, it happens so often. I said it to a friend yesterday, you know. There were impossible situations in my life. And walking in the Holy Spirit, I walked on these situations, over these situations, and everything was fine, you know. I strongly, strongly, strongly believe that. And I pray this novena for all of you who are in challenging situations in your life now, who don't know what the future holds. I offer this all nine days of this novena for you up, wherever you are, wherever you are listening, you know. And 
it will be fine. I'm convinced by that. I experience it so often, so often in my life. You have to go through the door of fear, of uncertainty, in faith, and nothing will happen. Life goes on. It will go on. Like, you know, I was studying with a rabbi in Frankfurt, in Germany, and um, I had an eBay business and it didn't work very well. And I said to the rabbi, look, look, it's not working. After one year, he said, like, look, you're still coming to my lectures every Wednesday to Frankfurt. And um, he said you had less, not much money, but you could come and you're still alive. You know, things like that. Don't look on the ways. Look at Jesus. He guides you through every situation. These situations are placed by God there that you come closer to Him, these challenges in your life, that you come closer to Him, that you have a closer contact with Him through prayer from the heart, as Our Lady said, pray from the heart here in Medjugorje. That's the most important thing. God wants 100% or nothing. He's not in between and then the Holy Spirit comes like here, look, there is the dove. And, um, that's what the process of our life is, of purification, coming closer to God, step by step by step. Yeah, I see it in my life. Just, just pray, be in contact. Be in contact with God. Love to, God loves to be in contact with us. He wants to be, have a relationship with us. Marriage, the relationship is a, between a woman and a man. It's an image of the relationship that we want. God wants with us, you know, he wants a love affair with us, he wants to be in constant contact with us, he wants detention from us, you know. You know, how often do you think about God in your life, in your day? How often do you thank him for little presents you get, little and big ones? I got a big presence yesterday, you know, I fell down, I could have broken, broken my hand. I, you know, I am the luckiest rich man in my life. I was so grateful, offered the evening mass up as thank that nothing happened, scratches I have, that's okay, but nothing else, you know. I could have broken my arm yesterday in a very, very bad way. So the eye, one who has eyes sees, the one who has ears hears and sees the crazes. God and the little presence God gives you every day, every, um, sec every second, every day, you know. And be grateful, a grateful heart receives more, more, more crazes. And it's written, yeah, my, my aunt, she has a little like poster and it's written, where there is peace, there is joy. Where there is p joy, there, there are the graces of God, you know? So, um, and how to have the, the, the peace and the joy? Being totally surrendered to the will of God, living in the divine will, focusing on God. If you don't focus on God, no joy and peace. If you focus on worldly things, no joy and peace. If you focus on God, who is joy and peace and calmness and stillness, you will receive the joy and peace from God. It's like a friend of mine, she was in a, in a monastery in Rome, and she said all these, these nuns, they were shining, they were shining. Why? Because they are concentrating on God. And it said, I don't know if it's a mystic who said that, you become what you are looking at, you know, if you are looking at um, God, peace, joy and happiness, you will have peace, joy and happiness. If you look at um, people who are not joyful, not peaceful, not happy, you will receive the non-joy, no peace, no happiness. It's very simple, you, my friends, it's very simple. Concentrate on God, which, who is joy, peace, gentleness, loving you endlessly. As Our Lady said, you would cry if you would know how much I love you, you know. And she's a reflection of Jesus and of the Holy Spirit. They love us endlessly. God the Father loves us endlessly. It's written in the Bible. Read the Bible. One of the, the stones um, here in Medjugorje. The Bible reading. Discover God. Discover how He is. Discover His character. Read the Bible. It gives consolation. It gives joy. It gives everything. It's a living word opening up every time. There's something different coming for you. Different inspiration. Yeah. So God bless you all from Medjugorje. Please pray for me. You need, I need prayer, protection prayer for my mission and I pray for you in your known and unknown intentions and focus on God, focus on, on joy, peace and happiness and you will have joy, peace and happiness yeah? and light like the sun here, you will have light in your heart, I promise it, it's written, it's a promise by, the, by God in the Bible, you know. How can I say I promise it? Because God said in the Bible, read the Bible, take it off the shelf. As a priest once said, where is your Bible in, in your house? 
it's, it's a lot of dust on it. Did you open it or was it in the last corner? You had better things to do. Trust me, open up the Bible, read the word of God, get known, know God, you know. Take time in silence, listening to God. Go to adoration, powerful, powerful adoration, you know. Because you're in the sun, you're in his presence, in his healing presence, personal adoration. You know, or just if, if Jesus in the tabernacle, same thing, go into a Catholic church, sit there in silence and receive, receive joy, peace and happiness, okay? God bless you all from Medjugorje.